hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's episode i'm going to show you how we can create a fire aura using the unity particle system so let's get started start by creating a new particle system and rename it to fire aura underscore particle system reset its transform set the max particle size to three now set its y position to two and uh, next thing we have to do is set the start speed to random between two constants and the values will be 0 and 360. Next is the color set it to orange. Okay after that set the simulation space to world. Okay. Now inside emission select a burst and the values would be time would be 0, count would be 1, cycles would be 20 and uh, intervals would be 0 0.050. Now inside shape select sphere and uh, here radius would be 0.52. Then check velocity of li lifetime linear y would be 1. Then comes size of a lifetime. And whoop, it would be like this. Add a keyframe here. Then here. That's it. First, uh, change the size to random between two constants and the values will be 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 and the rotation will be random between two constants and the values will be between 0 and 360. Then comes the noise and inside noise strength would be 0 0.1, frequency would be 1 scroll speed would be 0 0.3 and the other values will remain same inside renderer change to stretched billboard now create a new material and rename it to glow underscore particle system and uh, set it y position to minus 1 and uh, duration would be 1, lifetime would be 1.5, speed would be 0 0.001, size would be 1.6 and color would be orange with alpha value very small like 70 and uh, Emission would be a burst of one. Shape would be cone. Angle would be zero. And uh, radius would be very small. 0 0.01. Okay, so position of Y would be minus 0. Rotation on X would be minus 90 degrees. Color over lifetime would be add a keyframe here and set both of these to zero. Okay, after that, make the renderer a stretched billboard and speed scale would be zero and length scale would be minus 1.8 okay now create a new effect and rename it to fire underscore particle system select both of these and set the max particle size of this one to three okay now duration is one start lifetime is random between two constants and the value is 0 0.5 and 0. 7 
speed is also random between two constants and the values is 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 okay after that rotation is also random between two constants so the value is 0 and 360 okay now there would be two colors first one would be a lighter orange and second one would be a lighter red okay next is emission so set a value of 15 after here inside shape we need a sphere with uh, a radius of 0 0.1 and uh, after that we can set the y scale to 3 okay now check limit velocity over lifetime and here what you can do is set the speed to 0 and dampen to 0 0.1 and drag would be 0 then check color over lifetime and uh, do the same as we did to the previous one 0 and 0 only the middle one would be 1 okay after that size over lifetime would be On separate axis the X one would be a shape like this one and Y and Z would remain like this then we have rotation over lifetime check this one random between two constants minus 30 230 now we need a texture for this and uh, we will create that texture in Photoshop so go to Photoshop create a new file of size 512 by 512 now paint the background with black create a new layer select the back foreground to white use a brush tool make sure it's a lighter one set the opacity to 100 and now paint some shapes something some random shapes like these like this and okay now change your brush and That's it. Now use a razor tool and reduce its size and make sure the opacity is set to 30 and randomly make some adjustments. Okay, now go to blending options. Click outer glow and adjust the values okay hide the background save it as a png shapes png now bring this shape to your unity project check alpha is transparency create a new material rename it to shapes 
underscore mat set its shader to legacy shaders particles additive drag and drop your texture here drag and drop your shape here now the problem is that it's using all the four of shapes at a time so we will need a texture sheet animation so it's a sheet of two by two okay make it constant the number between two constants it would be zero and 3.66 now duplicate this one by pressing ctrl plus d and duplicate this material as well and change its shader to alpha blended now drag and drop this one here and that's it so so this is how we create a fire aura using the unity particle system i hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos if you want to see a tutorial of your choice let us know in the comments below i will see you in a new video goodbye